Right, ladies and gentlemen, a very scarce, very charming um, little book, around 1850s, I think, uh, 1855, 60, something like that, called The Etiquette of Love, Courtship and Marriage. Um, it's distressed, the spine is split, the front cover is hanging a bit loose, it's been scribbled in in a couple of instances on a couple of pages, the frontispiece is loose, the part of the title page is missing, but all the text is there, and it's a lovely period item about falling in love, um, the etiquette of um, uh, courtship, disappointment feeds the fire of love, qualities requisite in a lover, there's a scribble there as I say. Um, then we have the whole etiquette of courtship, preliminary remarks, the gentleman's conduct to the lady in public, another scribble there, the refusal of the lady's parents, how to propose in marriage, conduct of a lady towards her lover. Then we have the etiquette of marriage, the whole um, ceremony, the wedding tour, obviously we call it a honeymoon, the happy day, all the arrangements, all the behaviour expected of everybody uh, concerned, and then it goes into married life, advice to young ladies on the art of pleasing, etc, etc. And there's a whole final section on politeness in general, whispering, being rude, how not to be a slattern, how not to be envious, vanity in dress, this page is missing there, um, but I think the whole text is there, diligence, duty, cleanliness, uh, etc. A gentleman should be exquisitely clean both in his dress and his person. His linen should be without a stain. He should at least once a week resort to one of the numerous baths in the metropolis. There we are, have a bath once a week, and you'll be happy in love. There we are, etiquette of love, courtship and marriage, currently on the 140 million A. Uh, volume Abe Books Antiquarian Book Site. There's one copy, not in great condition, of this book for sale. It's priced at £50. Our copy is a lot cheaper than that. Thanks so much. Bye.